Welcome back to another episode of Stuff Gets Built. In this episode, I'm going to be building a tennis ball launcher. This was a fun but challenging project, and I'll show you some of the problems we had to overcome. The first idea was to use two of these exercise bands, but because of the pandemic, we could only find four. We looked at several stores, and the best thing we could find was this 30 pound resistance band. I attached the throwing arm to this hinge with these screws. The band is attached to hooks on the frame. I attached the band to the throwing arm with a U-bolt so the tension would be even and there would be no sharp edges that could damage the band. I was careful to do a test launch before going to maximum tension in case the band broke. It was actually the screws on the hinge that gave way, so I replaced them with larger bolts. A launch angle of 45 degrees maximizes the distance the ball will travel. Despite this, and the bands being stretched as far as possible, we were still not satisfied with the range. Since we could not get more bands, we needed another solution. A replacement for the rubber bands is twisted rope. Even though it's just rope, it has a lot of force if you twist it up. This idea is based off an ancient Roman technique called a torsion spin, which they used in their catapults called armigers. We built a prototype using the rope, but we didn't anticipate how much force they would pull with, which led to several problems. We tried using this dowel, but the force of the rope was so strong it broke the dowel. I replaced the dowel with a piece of aluminum pipe. It's hard to see here, but the rope is already beginning to deform the pipe. As I tightened the rope, the frame began to bend, so I reinforced it with additional boards. Unfortunately, with further tightening, the other side eventually broke. We glued two 2x4s two together to form a stronger frame. It required a lot of joint. Once the frame was complete, I threaded the rope through the frame until I had four complete loops. The throwing arm was placed in the middle of the ropes, then the ropes were twisted tight. As we continued to tighten the rope, the pipe began to deform so much we had difficulty getting our lever bar into the pipe. We cut some small pieces of rebar and inserted them into the pipe to prevent further deformation. I hope you enjoyed my video. It was a lot of fun to overcome the challenges involved with this project. Even though it was a success, I have several improvements in mind which you can see in a future episode.